15 years ago, a Sports Illustrated cover story on Ken Caminiti brought to light an epidemic of steroid use in Major League Baseball and led to near immediate changes to the sport, including random drug testing. Tom Verducci wrote that story. He joins me now. Tom, remember back to that time, will you? What was the immediate response to what Caminiti told you? Shock on a lot of people's faces, but not within the game of baseball, because I used to say it was the worst kept secret in baseball. People just didn't talk about it publicly that steroid use in baseball at that time was right. It was very prevalent. But to the general public, because there was a name and a face attached to it, and that's Ken Caminiti, the first guy who came out, uh, an active or just recently retired player, and admitted not just his own use, but how prevalent it was in the game, that shocked people. Unfortunately, Caminiti passed away in 2004, but what do you think baseball would look like now if Ken Caminiti had never come forward? Well, there's no question we have a better game because he did. Now, I think eventually the secret would have come out. We would have moved towards changes in the game to clean up the game. That's just the natural course of events, the way sports have evolved, and baseball was a little bit behind the testing curve. But he was the one who really instigated the change. And specifically, the interview that I had with him in that story forced the Players Association, which at that time had always had a policy that, no, we will not submit to random testing of any kind because that's a violation of privacy. It forced the union to drop that defense. And they did that almost immediately after our story appeared because it became a front burner issue publicly, uh, not just in the sports world, but really the general public, because baseball at that time and baseball players specifically were identified with performance enhancing drugs. Also, politicians got involved like John McCain. Um, the attitude around steroids is shifting very rapidly. Current players who are caught are still beloved. Alex Rodriguez is a media darling now, and it looks like, Tom, that Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens will both get into the Hall of Fame. Why do you think these attitudes have changed so fast? Time. <laughs> I think it's the passage of time because the emotions were much more raw at the time of those uh, days when those players were using drugs. I also think time has eroded how corrosive steroids were to the game. By that, I mean a lot of people now covering baseball did not cover the steroid era. And they just assume, well, everybody was doing it, or, oh, it wasn't that bad. Well, not everybody was doing it. And if you weren't doing it, the shame of it was that you were at a competitive disadvantage. It was so prevalent that players were put in a position that even if they were morally, legally opposed to using PEDs, some felt pressure to use them just to compete on a level, quote-unquote, playing field. So I think a lot of people who weren't around back then tend to minimize how divisive, how corrosive the drug use was in those days.